So I'm gonna post this video on the North Side Hub. What does this have to do with the North Side of Edmonton? Where do you live? I live in the North Side of Edmonton. There you go. He lives on the North Side. We have so many great stories of individuals uh, that go above and beyond. I wanna start celebrating our community members in a way like featuring Kevin here. Um, I've known Kevin for four years now. I'm Kevin Royal, I'm a firefighter and a fire investigator. And uh, I'm part of the Amigo Relief Missions Firefighter Aid to Ukraine. And uh, a project that actually helps fire departments around the world, really. Awesome, but this truck's not going to Ukraine, right? Nope, it's not. It's actually, uh, we're working on a project with uh, the World Lebanese Cultural Association and uh, the Lebanese communities in Alberta to send this truck that was donated by uh, Drayton Valley and Brazos County to Beirut. Hello everyone, it's bright and early here in Edmonton. I'm heading off to Drayton Valley to help pick up a fire truck, which is going to be donated to Lebanon. Come along for the journey and let me explain why and how this is happening. here in this fire truck in Drayton Valley. Pretty neat. I'm gonna drive this back to Edmonton, gonna get it on a ship later, send it to Lebanon. Okay, so this is a beautiful truck. It's an amazing truck. It's an amazing truck. Okay, so, but this is being donated by Drayton Valley in Brazo County to Lebanon. Yeah. Via your organization. Correct. Okay. So, Firefighter Aid Ukraine works autonomously underneath uh, Amigo Relief Missions. Uh, Amigo Relief Missions is uh, going to be joining up with the World Lebanese Cultural Association and uh, several other players in the Lebanese community and the uh, Lebanese government to send this truck that, like you said, was donated by Drayton Valley in Brazo County for the project. And it will uh, it'll be soon in the fleet of trucks over in, in Beirut. Awesome. So it's it's not needed here locally in Alberta, yes, because our technology has changed yeah, a yeah. bit. And um, yeah. but the receiving so, fire departments, however, we don't. I know we don't know exactly who's receiving it yet in Beirut, but they're gonna. This is gonna be of a standard equal to or superior to their current trucks, right? Like C. This will C slips. Okay. Yeah. And that's the thing we have a lot to be thankful for in Canada, um, the firefighting equipment that our first responders have is top notch, but elsewhere in the world. And I know that's what you, why you first got into this project, identifying the needs in Ukraine, but that's expanded a little bit now. So Lebanon's a receiving country for this type of equipment, but the standards we have here are, are by no means international standards. And there's many firefighters around the world that risk their lives on a daily basis, and they don't even have the proper equipment to fight fires. Yeah. These things are bulletproof. All you, like, there's no electronics to fail in this truck, so it's all so easily, easily maintained and easily repaired if you had to. That's the beauty of it. It's so pull this lever, you got water. You're not struggling. It's this beautiful scene here. This is your transverse hose bed. So these are for pulling your lines out for your hand lights. And then there's your high balls in the back and then higher volume 65 milliliter hoses for larger apparatus, like larger water. Deluge cannon on the top as well. You have to write Kevin was here on here. <laughs> so what is these things? This is your valves for mm -hmm. opening your pump to put the water into the t from the tank to the pump. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if you want to have, so they're all... Um, to a different discharge. So mm -hmm. this is going to a large 65 millimeter hose. Mm -hmm. These ones over here are going to open up your phone. Like they just open up different valves. These are for, mm -hmm. see this is 38 millimeter. Mm -hmm. This is for those hoses that you can access from mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. For hand lines, but this one is from a larger one, right? So this one, larger 
Mm -hmm. This is for your large water supply that comes in. But the beauty, I was just telling John this, the beauty of this is that these are mechanical valves. There's no electronics to mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. So you know when you when this lever's down here, that valve is open. You're not yeah. opening something. The lights say it's open, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. There's no failing. Well, we're here in Drayton Valley. I'm on the back of the truck. We're about to drive to Edmonton. I'm told I have to stand back here the whole time, but I'm not sure if that's safe. So I'll see if they will let me inside the cab. everybody and uh, first I want to thank Chief and his, his team in Drayton Valley for donating this beautiful truck to go to Lebanon. I want to thank John and Kevin. Uh, I want to thank you all and uh, we will work together to do our best to help Lebanon in this difficult time. This truck will save lives. Okay, let's go. A different country. So it is nice when there's there's large cultural groups like the the Lebanese population that you're talking about, also with the Ukrainian population. There's a ton of other groups, and I know you've helped Syria and um, Chile, Chile, Cuba, Mexico, Mexico India indirectly. Yeah. yeah, so I think what you're doing is just absolutely fantastic. So thanks for your service with all this. It's, it's one of the most gratifying things I can do.